I think the most common reaction is probably like, I'm mad or, um, you know, kind of wondering why I would do this. So I'm Michael Shanks and since the first lockdown in 2020, I've been running every single street and lane and road in the city of Glasgow, six and a half thousand streets. So the why is, is a good question. Uh, I suppose it started out just a, a more kind of useful use of the daily exercise that we had back then. One of the interesting things has been all these little uh, nooks and crannies of the city that I didn't know existed and yes, so many lanes. <laughs> like in the East End and the South Side in particular, just lanes absolutely everywhere connecting places. I've kind of picked up different themes as I've been going along. So uh, high rise flats all over the city, the ones that are left. The subway route, so the whole of the, the Glasgow subway. Also no ball game signs, the city is littered in these, uh, I've called them nay fun allowed. Uh, and I've probably got the biggest collection of signs welcoming you to the city of Glasgow because every time I cross a border I've been taking a picture of the signs as well. There's been a bit of uh, spotting scenes from Taggart from various uh, murder scenes over the years, but a lot of it, I mean it has been as well as a fitness challenge, it's been an adventure exploring your own city, a place you you feel like you would know quite well, but actually when you get in about it, you realise you, you don't know different streets. The difficulty with this challenge is if you were to run every single street in Glasgow once, it would be about 1,200 kilometres. But of course, with loads of dead ends and cul-de-sacs, you've got to run them twice. So it's ended up, I'm just short of 2,500 kilometres now in two years. Part of this challenge has also been meeting people as I've been going along. So usually uh, when I get lost, that sparks a conversation with someone asking if I know where I'm going. Meeting people told me they've lived in the same street for the last 60, 70 years, that their parents grew up there as well. And uh, some of the heritage of Glasgow has been a really interesting part of this as well. Glasgow's full of streets that don't exist anymore, that are still there. So the tenements have long been demolished, particularly in Easter House. Um, but actually the lampposts are still there, the street signs are still there, you can still run along the road. I suppose I feel a mix of, well, I am relieved to be done with it. It's been fun, but I'm also quite glad to see the back of it in a way. But uh, it's, it's quite sad in a way, because I have really, really enjoyed um, going out on the adventure and finding new places. And I guess there's nowhere left to, to visit in Glasgow now. I've been everywhere, literally everywhere. <laughs>